This video will show you how to delete, rename, add a health tip, and change the icon of a preset. We will also cover how to import a preset. Choose a preset to edit. Control click for the Mac or right click for Windows in the preset icon area. Here you can choose to delete the preset or rename it. Let's rename it to something shorter. Next I will bring up the contextual menu again using control click or right clicking for Windows. This time I will add a text description of the preset. Now it will appear when I mouse over the icon. Next I will change the icon image. This option will replace the current icon with whatever is currently in the canvas. In this case, it is the car. Don't worry if you don't like your new icon, you can always change it again. I would like to touch upon importing presets. When I am doing a project, I like to save my paint action sequences with my output movies, which I always keep outside of my Studio Artist folder. So if I want to get at those presets, I would either have to put them in my Studio Artist preset folders, or I can just import them as needed. To do that, I choose Import Preset, and then choose the preset type, which in my case is usually paint action sequences. For Mac users, you can always just drag a preset from the Finder and drop it on the application icon in the Mac dock. Or you can just double click on the preset file on the Mac Finder to open it. If I want to see the paint action sequence preset I just imported, I will need to open the paint action sequence window. I can then press play to make it run. Importing is also a good way to preview shared presets that you can download from the user sharing forum. Once you find ones you like, you can then save them to your favorites or to the factory presets, as we discussed in the previous videos.